More rain in the forecast. Many folks are worried about flooding. Most people have a plan in place for severe weather. WCBI's Victoria Bailey spends the day learning just how valuable being prepared is with developing weather systems. She joins us live with more. Victoria. That's right, Joey. When our meteorologists talk hurricane or tornado, it's an immediate red flag and possibly life threatening. But for Tropical Storm Cindy turning just off the coast of Mississippi, it comes with its own set of problems, and that's rain. Tropical Storm Cindy is actually being impacted in the coast, Gulf Coast area of the state of Mississippi today. Uh, the path, and that changes as the weather changes, is slated to take it through here in about 36 to 48 hours. Which means there's not a lot of time. First, we make contact with all the department heads of the different agencies locally and firm up our state contacts as well and make sure that our personnel have their vehicles fueled, their chainsaws are sharpened and ready, that we have a good way to get a hold of them should we need them at a at in the middle of the night. Winston County EMA Director Buddy King says preparation is essential, especially with the weather leading up to Cindy's arrival. We've had lots of rain for the past 10, 10 days or two weeks. Our ground is saturated and our trees are fully leafed and any wind resistance uh, will make them much easier to topple. Uh, we're fortunate to have lots of beautiful trees, but as well when the ground gets as wet as it is now, we have problems with trees that, that become uprooted and fall on houses and trees and power lines. Casey Bush is the Columbus Public Works Director. He says the best way to tackle a potential natural disaster is to stay prepared. We prepare normally all year. I tell my guys to make sure we keep the drain clean. Uh, we do have a crew uh, that goes around and, and clean drains. So we try to stay up on that to make sure those areas stay prepared and clean. Rainfall in some parts of the state is projected to be as much as 10 to 15 inches. King says residents need to be ready. The preparation of the individual citizens in your individual home, it, individual home is of the greatest responsibility. We make arrangements to take care of their situation for the next three days and that's what that's what we ask. You have enough food and water and cell phone battery to take care of yourself for the next three days. Uh, if you have special medications. And the citizens of Winston County have been tremendous in responding to those requests. Now, just a few tips from the pros to keep the water from rising at your house. Make sure your cut grass doesn't clog the drains. And Joey, rake and bag your leaves. We're live in Columbus. I'm Victoria Bailey, WCBI News.